Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about my film camera collection. Whenever I buy a camera, I like to I like each one to be unique. I don't like to get um, cameras that two of the same basically. So first of all, I've got the Canon A1. This is my first ever film camera. This is the camera that got me into film photography. It's an amazing camera. It's got an incredible set of lenses that go with it. Most of the time I have the 35 F2 glued to it basically. Um, I also have the 50 1.8, the kit lens. I've also got a 24 um, Tokina lens and I've also got a 28 mil Bell and Howell lens, which I never use. And, but I've also got a 135 F2.5 um, Canon FD one, which I've been meaning to use a lot more of. I'm going to make a video um, with that with that lens for sure at some point. This is probably the film camera I use the most of. It's just so versatile. It's just so easy to use. It's got aperture priority. Next up, I've got the Mamiya uh, 645 Super. I just love the look of it. <laughs> Whenever I buy a camera, I, the first thing I ask myself is, do I actually like the look of it? Um, I'm a firm believer in that a camera has got to be, a, it's got to be beautiful. You got to find it beautiful because if you don't find it beautiful, you're, you're just not going to pick it up. You're not going to admire it. You're not, you're not going to love it. First of all, I like the look of it. And then I think about its capabilities. Just like, I love the shape of it. I've got the auto winder hand grip um, attached to it. And I've also got the prism finder, the eye level of prism finder as well. I also have the waist level finder, but I found that it was just, I just don't like it. I just don't like, I think it's just too much of a hassle. Um, it slows me down. It's just too much to, to work with. Um, it's confusing. <laughs> it's just too many things that make me not want to use the camera. So I switched up with the, um, I switched it for the prism finder. And now this just is so easy to use now. In terms of lenses for it, I've got the 80, 280 mil f2.8 the kit lens and i've also got the 150 mil um f3.5 so the 80 mil is i think it's around a 50 mil full frame equivalent and the 150 mil is a 90 mil full frame equivalent um it's probably my favorite portrait camera at the moment um downside of it is that it's um, fully manual uh it doesn't have any sort of auto exposure capabilities i haven't got the auto exposure prism finder so i have to use it with a light meter the fuji gs 645s medium format camera and it's also my first ever um, range finder yeah the reason i got this is because i wanted to get into medium format but you know the ones that people talk about are always like the, the mamiya 7s the pentax 7s and those ones are just astronomically expensive so when i found out about this camera um and learned about it, it's you know how capable it is i jumped on the opportunity um unfortunately these are really hard to find in the uk so i had to buy mine from japan you know which meant i had to pay customs and you know import taxes and all that which added about another hundred pounds onto on top of what um on top of the price but to me it's still worth it because one again i just love the look of it i think it's just absolutely gorgeous i think it's such a pretty pretty camera still way cheaper than any of the other sort of medium format cameras that people talk about so for me the reason why i got this is because it's a medium format camera it's travel size it's travel friendly and it's also range finded so next camera the canon eos 5. Um, the reason why i got this is because autofocus that's the, purely the reason why i got it it's not initially when i bought it um you know i did, i wasn't a huge fan on this aesthetics because you know it just looks like a really old dated um 5d mark 4. in the end um i sort of grown to to really actually kind of like it um it's plasticky it's cheap uh but i got it because it's got autofocus which meant that you know it just makes film shooting so much more convenient so much easier uh, so I used to have two Canon bodies. I used to have the 700D and the 5D Mark IV. I sold them off um, because I wanted to downsize my rig and I got the X-T3. That meant that I had the 50mm f1.8, which meant that I didn't have a body. I didn't have any use for it. So having this camera meant that I was still able to use my Canon lenses. I mentioned it in my past video on this camera. This is my just get the job done. This is my I don't want any stress. Just give me some beautiful photos. I mainly shoot this in aperture priority anyway. It's got pretty much all the modern conveniences of um, modern cameras. Yeah, I love this camera. 
Now I'm going to talk about two cameras which I've not mentioned on the channel before. Um, that is my Olympus OM1N, uh, the black one, and I have the 50mm 1.8 uh, attached to it at the moment, but I've also got the OM85 F2. I bought it after watching shoots with Coops um, video on it. Absolutely love the aesthetics of it. It looks, it's so beautiful. But two is because it is, it is minute, it's tiny. It's like the size of my phone. Like here's the camera and here's my phone. I can hide the camera behind the phone. Like that, that's in, that's mad. Full frame 35 mil, like that is mad. How is that? I've got, this is the iPhone 8 by the way. How is that possible? And on top of that, the viewfinder is huge. It's, ironically, it is the biggest viewfinder of any sort of, out of any of my cameras, I'd say. But unfortunately, this needs to be sent to the repair shop. Um, out of the blue, I've used this, I've had this camera for just over a year now, I think. And just out of the blue, the shots are just jammed. Very sad times for this camera. I had to send it, I'm gonna have to send it to the repair shop. God knows how much it's gonna cost me. <laughs> And last but not least, a point and shoot. I have a Nikon L35AF. Um, reason why I got this one is because I just wanted a point and shoot. Um, I was traveling and I just felt like this was just a bit too big, a bit too clunky. And I wanted a camera that could literally fit in my pocket. And this is one that could literally fit in my pocket. Um, I brought it with me to, when I went back home. I brought it to me to festivals. I brought it to parties. And this is just unobtrusive. It's just really nice. Some of my favorite photos I've ever shot so far to date were taken with this, with this camera. Um, it's a camera that I wish I used a lot more. Now with every celebrity shooting film now, I think point and shoots are just gonna get more and more expensive. So. I'm quite happy that I've got mine now. That's the only reason why I haven't sold it really. Um, there are also a few other cameras that I have bought and sold. I sold my Olympus XA. Again, it's because I just wasn't using it enough. Um, I found the viewfinder was just way too small and the focusing patch just wasn't bright enough. Because of those reasons, I just wasn't using it enough. And for me, if I'm not using a camera, I'd rather sell it get rid of it. And then I also had the Canon F1. I bought that because I wanted a piece of sort of camera history. It was the flagship camera of its day. I think it was like sort of considered the, the 1DX of its day. And to me, I just wasn't using it to its full capacity. I was just, um, for me, for the way I was using it, it did exactly the same job as my Canon A1. It took the same lenses. Um, the real benefit of the F1 is its modularity, and it's only you only really get the full benefit of the F1 is is if you sort of add accessories to it. You know, it's got like a ton of different accessories. So for me, I didn't I didn't use any of its accessories. I did have a cool speed finder for it, but apart from that, um, it just. It just didn't make sense for me to have both the A1 and the F1. That is my film camera collection. I've settled on it now. I've resisted the urge to buy any new cameras for a very long time and it feels amazing. Um, uh, if you enjoyed the video, like the video, comment down below. Tell me what your favorite um, film camera is. Have you got one? What are you looking out for? What would you love to buy? What is your dream film camera at the moment? If I were to buy another film camera, it would be a six by nine camera. And the only six by nine camera I think there is, is the Fuji GW 690. Uh, I know it's a long one. Um, there aren't that many, but I would love to get my hands on one of them and try it out. This channel is growing slowly day by day. Every day I always get a new sub and it's just, it feels amazing to know that you guys like the stuff that I'm putting out there. It feels really, really good. Yeah, I've got tons of videos coming up, so plenty more to come, guys. If you enjoy the video, like it, comment, share this with your mom, share this with your dad. Click that little subscribe button if you're digging what you see. Follow me on Instagram at Zane Shoots Film. Check out my portfolio at zanereasons.com. Keep learning, keep shooting, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.